Hey guys, Money here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the transport specialist that allows you to uh, build or research the um, the cargo 2 device so you can airlift out vehicles and um, as well as uh, container sh or containers from container ships. Um, it is found in Mission 10 and um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it. You guys can either follow how I do it or... Um, do it your own way but uh it's pretty easy to do actually i don't really care so i just shot up at the end towards the end i just ended up killing most of the guards that there anyways and uh, just made my life a little bit easier um but what you guys want to do is just follow my way over to this uh palace i think it is and um you don't have to spot out the enemies like i do which you'll see in a little bit here um you can just go right in and if you have the dog there with you like I do, um, then you will be able to, the dog will spot out the enemies as you get closer to them. So it does help you out quite a bit with that. And he also spots out the prisoners and um, all of that stuff. But um, here I'm just going to spot out most of the dudes here so uh, I don't get my ass shot up. And uh, yeah, this is, um, I didn't know about this yet. I actually found this out because of what's my game I'll post a link to his channel in the description so you guys can go ahead and check him out um, you guys don't have to complete the uh, actual mission in order to get the the right uh, prisoner the prisoner is held here but you guys do have to be quick and you can't just sit around like I do you have to well I don't sit around actually I just spot him out and then I go right ahead but you cannot sit around and take it very slowly because eventually the guards will kill the prisoners that are in this palace here. So you have to be very quick in order to actually get there, get the prisoners, and extract them before they do get murdered by these guys. So in that sense, you do have to be a little bit quick. And uh, like I said, you guys can follow the way I do it, or you can do it your own way. It doesn't really matter. As long, pardon me, as long as you get the prisoners out, then it's okay. And um, yeah, the whole mission you don't have to complete the whole mission like I said you can go ahead and uh, and just end it after you get the prisoners out of here and then uh, finish it later or whatever but um I just finished it you don't see me finish the whole thing I stop it after I gather these prisoners here and um, but I suggest finishing it because you can get more specialists as well towards the end of the video or towards the end of the actual uh, this actual mission you can get more special so I suggest that you keep doing the mission until it's completely done just so you can get everybody possible and um, yeah if you guys do have the uh, the uh, fully upgraded in scope or not fully upgraded but I think to level 3 or 4 maybe I don't know I have a 2 level 3 but I didn't notice if I could see like the specific skills these prisoners had but if you have it fully upgraded, then you can only select the prisoners that you want that have that right uh, that right skill that you do want. So um, you can do it that way. You just rescue them all. It really doesn't matter. I rescued every single one of them just because they all had pretty good qualities that I could use. So I said, eh, fuck it. I might as well. But um, overall, this mission can be a little bit difficult if you do not have the dog. And the reason for that is the dog really does help out by spotting out all of the uh, prisoners and all the enemies that are close to you even ones that I did not notice from the get-go are ones that were hidden from uh, when I spotted them out farther away <clears throat> but yeah here I'm gonna take this to jump out a window and extract him with the false device uh, if you guys do get towards the end with the la ending of the mission the main character you cannot extract with the false device because he's too injured so you will have to uh, go ahead and um, uh, call in the helicopter in order to extract him but that's not that big of an issue either um, and yeah I'm I don't think I'm gonna really talk throughout this whole thing because there's really no point in me talking throughout the whole fucking thing but there's only so many times I can repeat the same fucking thing over and over again but um yeah I'm gonna let this play out so you guys can continue watching till the end to see how I completely did it and there you see I fucked up and accidentally grabbed the ledge instead of jumping out the actual window but um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying these videos of metal gear solid if you are please leave a like and subscribe for more i'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos with this game and um i also have a couple glitches on mad max that i will be uploading eventually 
I just need to actually record them. Um, one's for a uh, uh, scrap glitch, a s unlimited scrap glitch. So I'll be unlo I'll be uploading that. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the, the next one. Peace. Analysis complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Oh. 